What do you guys think of that? A-OK. Hey, okay. Good with you? So, not to mention Michael's room, and he's taking a nap right now. Oh, thank you for my coffee. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Yeah. How's it doing? Mm. Oh, there's a little guy. There's a little guy. Hi, little buddy. How'd you sleep? Hi. There's a smile. There's a smile. Oh, <laughs> Are you asleep, Michael? Ah, uh, that's mama's, that's mama's. Get in the jet fuel, huh? Today's the day. Today's the day. Corona hair is, oh. Corona hair is going away. I do love Corona We love hair. Corona hair, but it's time. Yeah, especially with the kids. The They're boys ready. and I, we're all, we're all going. It's down to Joseph's nose. It's getting a little long. <laughs> it's getting a little long. <laughs> and it's like arching his back while I'm holding him screaming. I'm like, bye guys. <laughs> oh my my. But then your mom had given that bag of stuff. So as soon as we got in the car, we, we gave him a little Wow. Yeah. Guys, this is so cool. Michael, do you have a rhinoceros? And away we go. Good morning, everyone. All right, hair is going away today. It's official. Today is the last day. Oh, I'm, it's just too hot. Oh, it's blazing hot right now, especially. So uh, let's see, Hoka Rincon 2, taking them out for an easy day. Uh, it's been a big week of training. I'll catch you up on that in a second. And yes, going back to Boulder on Monday. That's going to be the go day. So I'm going to take it easy for two days in a row. Today's Saturday. You're watching this on Sunday easy on Sunday and then rock and roll time on Monday. So that is the game plan and let's lace up Solomon socks, Hoka shoes. They go together, right? They go together. All right, come on now. gonna go yeah we are gonna go straight we're gonna go left sorry it'll be a green arrow here in one second there's the green arrow all right in a second boys look to your left and this might be the yes I was just telling the boys what was I telling you guys about what does Papa have a lot of shoes, shoes. so I might everybody have to get a storage unit right over there I'm not sure if you can even see that it's probably blown out but that building right there, boys, it's a self-storage unit. I was explaining to them that the studio is getting a little, whoa, the studio is getting a little tight. So we're running out of space and we might have to get a storage unit. What do you guys think of that? Hey, okay. okay. Good with you? So not to mention Michael's room, and he's taking a nap right now. Uh, <laughs> All the doors in Michael's room, there's three doors, including the closets, and I have shoes hanging over the closet doors as well, and we're just running out of space, aren't we? Yeah. So we'll see. Stay tuned, stay tuned. All right, we got our flowers for uh, the flower pots in front of the house. We got our hair cut. And we're ready to rock and roll. Speaking of the studio, we'll see you in there. And we're back, but one second, ever one second, there's a fly in the studio and it's driving me crazy. I gotta hold the door open, get this fly out of here. Let's see, there it goes, there it goes. And okay, there it goes, I got it out. Holy smokes, nothing like a fly, uh, you know, buzzing around your head as you're trying to communicate with the YouTube family out there. All right, everyone, here we go, diving into inflection points in our running, in our training. What do I mean by that? I'll break that down for you. Also, share a little insight into the life of, I guess, a YouTuber, the life of making a daily vlog 
on YouTube and what uh, what the journey has been like. But first, um, okay, over there is the Hoka Ring Con too. I'll get to that in a second. But first, shout out to Ricky and to Ed O'Mary. Just want you to know, thank you for the letters. I read them. They're inspiring. Absolutely amazing. And thank you for taking the time. Like, there's nothing. Just so you know, emails are uh, like I cannot keep up. I can't keep up. But. I really appreciate some physical paper and just like somebody taking the time to write letters. So thank you for sending these in to the P.O. Box. All right, everyone. So here we go. Uh, we are now at 30 miles in the Hoka Rincon 2. So we're getting closer to that 50 mile full review. And today's run, uh, eight miles, supposed to be an easy day. Why? Because the next FKT attempt is going to be Monday. And so I want back-to-back -back easy days before it, I'm basically approaching it like a race. And for a race, I would definitely take more than back-to-back, -back, like two easy days back-to-back. -back. But at least for an FKT, we're going to do today easy and then tomorrow easy. So 740 a mile ended up being the pace today. And you all know in my training, I'd listen to the body. I just go off of how the legs are feeling. And that 740 a minute pace was definitely faster than I expected. You all know, like my easy days, easy, hard days, hard. So man, I, it's just insane. But I think 18 months ago, when I was training at 85 to 100 miles per week, my body was beat up. Like I was pretty tired. And I distinctly remember like I would go run three to five miles on my easy days. At night, if you've been following closely on Strava, you know like nine minutes a mile, 9.30 a mile, 10 minutes a mile, just really taking it easy. Well now, and I think part of it is my getting up on my forefoot, you know, I think that I'm becoming a little more efficient in my stride. I've really been working on it in 2020. And uh, so I think that's helping like me go a little bit faster, even on easy days. But I'm just wondering what is going on here? What is the inflection point in my running and in my training. And what do I mean by an inflection point? So on a curve, in a graph uh, format, like in science or mathematics, you've got, uh, I don't know if I should go, maybe it's this direction. So you've got a curve going up, going up, going up on a graph, and then it turns, distinct turn. That's the inflection point, okay? Where something distinct is changing or happening in anything, I guess, in life, in business, in school, or in training. And so I am wondering what's going on, like, my legs feel really, really good right now, despite having some really solid training over the past two, three, four weeks. And here's where, here's what I've landed upon as far as like the insight into daily vlogging and life and yes, sleep. So I just realized and it kind of hit me, even though my volume is pretty high right now, and here it is on your screen and on Strava, which I'm actually pretty impressed with the updates that are happening right now on Strava. Uh, but here's the volume, volume that I've been running, and I should be, based on historically, I should be more tired, right? Like I should feel more tired, and my easy days should be, you know, I should be yearning for that nine minutes a mile, but my body is saying no. Remember, I'm always listening to the legs, always listening to the muscles, always listening to um, how my body is reacting rather than, yes, looking at my watch and, you know, when Polar tells me I'm uh, detraining or I'm um, or I'm not training enough. I'm just like I laugh at it because it's like the watch. I just try to avoid looking at the watch and letting the watch dictate how my body actually feels. So right now I feel really good. And so the insight for YouTube and the daily vlog is that I was sleeping four to six hours a night for 12 to 15 months back in 2018 and 2019. Why? editing the vlog every single night uh, before I before I schedule the post to publish at 5 a.m. Usually I was I was getting to bed at midnight, 1 a.m., sometimes even 2 a.m. Absolutely insane. But what's happened in 2020 is I've become more efficient in different ways, different strategies I put in my life where now I can get the vlog done much earlier in the night is the bottom line before I schedule the post to publish at 5 a.m. So what's happening, I think, and so I'm sleeping now about six to eight hours a night, approximately, which is just I really spot, like I can't, I can't really sleep more than eight hours, even though my coach in college uh, at the University of Colorado, Mark Wetmore, he always said like, if you're running 80 miles a week, you're, you need to sleep eight hours a night. If you're running 90 miles a week, you need to sleep nine hours a night. 100 miles a week, strive for like that 10 hours a night. And that's what I, frankly, that's what I think a lot of us did in college, keeping in mind as teenagers in early 20s, 
threes, your body's still developing so much. You do like, I remember just being knocked out at night, just being so tired after training at such high levels. But now that's six to eight hours a night, it just seems to be a good sweet spot. I know like the recommended is usually like, what is it? Seven or seven and a half hours. But anyway, that's my inflection point. That's my little insight to share with all of you today. And yes, question of the day, what is a distinct inflection point that you can remember in your running journey whether it's training whether it's racing whatever the case may be is do you remember a distinct shift that happened because for me it feels like i'm going through one now i won't really know until i'm able to race maybe the fkts will give me a little insight over the next four to six weeks but really it's going to happen on race day whenever the next race happens you know so um that's my little little tidbit for the day um yeah i'm curious to hear your answers down in the comments and maybe some others out there that are new to running can learn from those veterans out there who have gone through these inflection points throughout their running journey sound good everyone that's today's vlog thank you for watching thanks for being here onward and upward onward and upward all right we'll get to toss it back you know what i don't even know don't even know i'll pick an old vlog from 2019 old vlog right there right there right there thanks for being here thanks for watching thanks for taking the time appreciate it see beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow